News, Oklahoma weather. Well, we are still dealing with those low clouds all across green country right now. These are part of Wade's RV weather camera network. Be OK cam still seeing a little bit uh, not being able to see much on that. Even current visibilities right now, at least in Tulsa, around two miles. But for the most part, it's not nearly as bad with that fog as what we saw yesterday and even the day before. Hopefully, though, we could see a few peaks of sunshine by tomorrow afternoon, but for sure on Friday. So today, unfortunately, is going to continue to stay overcast right now as we are tracking this next storm system arriving out of the southwest, pushing on into further towards the northeast. Right now, that rain slowly inching its way across Oklahoma City and Norman. Right now, here Tulsa, we are staying dry for this afternoon. However, we could see a few showers in the area. Right now, that time frame for the most part, few of us could see some light rain around the three o'clock time frame, but most of that heavy rain really will come into our area by later into the overnight hours is when we're tracking heavier amounts of rain. But for the most part, just keep that in mind that will continue on even into early hours on Thursday. So let's track this out what we can expect right now. We are starting to see some of those light showers pretty much by around 430. You can start to see a few counties like few towns like Oak Moe starting to see a little bit of that light showers. We could see a few embedded thunderstorms as well, but right now the heavier band, as you can see, we continue to time this out really starts to come in late. This is around at 1040 high is going to be in the low 50s. We're looking around 52 as a high here in Tulsa because of that thick cloud covers are really going to struggle. But as we go throughout even the overnight hours, you can really start to see few areas starting to see some heavier rain between the I-40, I-44 is where we really could see between one to two inches further towards the north and south. Could see just some light rain, but not too much in accumulation, and that'll even continue on into your five o'clock hour on Thursday and even just going into the next few hours. I mean, we clear out. We'll just keep that cloudy conditions for the morning, and this is close to lunch hour. Temperatures much warmer as we see a return of those southerly winds. That's going to help us climb above normal for this time of year. So rainfall totals as of now, we're looking like I mentioned one to two inches between the I-40, I-44 location further towards the north, less than an inch and even same situation further towards the south. So this area looks to see some good amount of rain. So any plans this evening, definitely grab the rain gear, especially for the six, seven and eight o'clock hour, even into overnight. So for the most part, though, this is overcast conditions. We're not expecting any breaks in the clouds that could occur for Thursday evening. But for now here in Tulsa, we're dealing with 50 degrees overcast skies, very calm winds. But for Thursday, we'll wake up. Some of us could see that rain, but check out those temperatures already in the low 60s by your four o'clock hour with a few few breaks in the sun, few breaks in the clouds, excuse me. And on Friday, we are expecting partly cloudy skies. We'll stay dry, but we could late Friday into early Saturday see a few rain chances in the forecast. However, we're going to, for the most part, dry off for the evening. We'll have a nice, pleasant day from Sunday. And what we're really keeping an eye out is Monday into Tuesday, where we could see some showers and storms returning in the area. Justin. All right, Emma.